We are going to be installing the Extreme Recon fender extensions onto this 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL. Now Dave, who's a local fan, decided to come down today and let us check out his absolutely gorgeous 2018 in the ocean blue, which I wish was still available because this color is just beautiful, especially in the sun. Now he details as well, so this thing's super clean. But in today's video, we wanted to show you how to get these installed because I know a lot of you live in either states where you have to have perfect tire coverage or you just don't want to have all that road debris flying up on the Jeep. So with these, this is less than a hundred bucks for this, as well as all the rivets to get them installed. Now this is going to be a cool one because I'm really excited to see how this looks with this. He does have a little bit more of a backspacing on these wheels and tires, but his future plans include axle swaps, which is going to poke them out a little bit further. And if you guys have a late model Jeep Wrangler JL or even the Gladiator, I believe you can modify the rear to fit. This is how you're going to do it. So let's get right into it and get these installed. Now to kind of start this off, I did want to mention Dave just told me these are Rubicon fenders. So he swapped these onto this model. And from what he said, and I, I don't know, I've kind of done a little bit of research. I think that the arch is different on the Sport or the Sahara fenders, especially like the 4xE, those are way different. But with this, we have a Rubicon fender. So you can see we've got the rivets that are holding on that inside liner. And we're going to start at this one right up front and drill out actually all seven of these first and then get them installed with new rivets. And I believe there might be two or three holes that we've got to drill out and install two or three more rivets as well. The nice thing about this whole install is that right in front of me we do have a good example we've got my jeep there which has all the extreme recon fender extensions on so we can kind of check our progress as we do it but let's that's enough talking here we're going to drill out all seven of these and get started with this install All right, guys, so we do have six of those drilled out. Now, if you're wondering which ones to do, skip this front one and then basically just count six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And the best point of reference is the fender flare extension. So you can actually hold it up and see exactly where it's going. Like I said, you do have to drill a couple more holes. But what I think is going to be nice about this is now that we've got these, basically drill the center of it out, use a trim panel removal tool to pull the actual outside of the rivet out as well. But we're going to get all these riveted on and then use the drill to drill those, those next holes because there are three extra ones just to give it a little bit more structural support because when you're going 70 or 80 down the highway, you don't want it to be flapping. So those are removed and don't worry, even if you kind of like scuff them up a little bit, it's all gonna get covered. So we've got those six out for the front. It's time to get the fender extension on. So these were the brand of the rivets that Dave actually picked up. These are linked on the JL Wrangler forms as well. This is a hundred pack and I believe it can be found for less than $10. We are gonna link these in the description because even if you're not doing the fender flare extensions, but you need a couple extra of these rivets just to maybe fix up your fender. This is a great option for you and they look very nice. So the brand is that right there. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, but these come straight from Amazon and we're gonna see how they work today. All right guys, so now's here the moment of truth. Dave's gonna get it. Let's see, I'll hold this for you. Get one of those. Is it on? Yep. Oh, nice. All right, that's it. Just leave one rivet and you're done. <laughs> see if it holds this, the strength test. Oh, there you go. Who knew, a couple minutes and your Jeep could also become an extreme recon. Dave's got this installed. Obviously we do have to clip off the ends of the rivets here. We've got six in, so there's three more holes to drill out yet. But the nice thing about this is that you can use all six of these to align it in the right spot. And then you, with those three holes being open, just drill them out. So we're gonna let you know what size drill bit we actually use to do that too. Just to make sure you don't go too big or too small. I mean, it's better to go too small, that way you can go bigger. But yeah, all you gotta do is snip these off at the end. This looks great already though so far. So I'm really excited to see what the rears look like. It's gonna be kind of neat to see the before and after. All right guys, so we also figured it out. We worked up a couple sizes. A quarter inch drill bit's gonna get perfect. So the quarter inch works on there. We tried smaller and worked our way bigger, but it's nice and easy. You just drill right into the plastic. That's the nice thing with this mod is you're not using metal, you're right into plastic. So quarter inch, that's the one to go with for those last three on the front that you have to drill. So with the rear fender extension, there are eight holes in the extension and there are five rivets on the fender flare. So same thing, we're gonna be drilling three. So when you look at those, we're just gonna kind of work with the one right at the front here. So this is the first one to start off with. And that's the nice thing about lining up. So we're gonna start here and then just drill out all of them. And also the drill bit to use a 764th. So 764th to drill out the center of the rivets and then just pop them out. I also get the most random questions on YouTube too. Like somebody caught a glimpse of my like plow truck really? in the back and was like, what's going on with that truck in the back? It's like, it's a 96 Ram.
All right guys, well that about wraps up this side of the installation. Now all you have to do is just repeat the exact same steps on the other side for this to be complete. I'm overall extremely happy with how this install went. Now from what some of the forum members even said on the JL Wrangler forums, there's a guy that actually did this over lunch break. And I can imagine if you have the right tools, watch this video and see how it goes. You could easily do this in half an hour to an hour. Overall, I'm happy with the look of this as well. So Dave even said the look of the unpainted fenders to see how all this would look. I think it looks very aggressive. I'm one of those guys, I'm a fan of this fender extension. And even if it blocks, one or two rocks from flying up and hitting your paint, it's 100% worth it. This can be done for less than 100 bucks, even with that rivet tool as well. So we'll leave that link in the description too, but you can do all this for less than 100 bucks. And I think it's a great mod to help get you a little bit more tire coverage and make it look like that extreme recon. I really appreciate Dave for coming down and doing this with us on camera. Until next time though, I'm Matt with Dirt Road Cred. Get out there and earn yours.